I own this clothing line. Epilepsy has been a part of Kara Sampson's life Sorry. all her life. As a child, I was really sick and I didn't get to do a lot of things and I was always held back and I was bullied. But Kara doesn't hide the fact that she shares the neurological disorder with some three million Americans of all ages. And I finally was able to accept that I was different and that I had epilepsy and I realized how much I could help others get through that time of learning and maybe not feeling normal and I just wanted to be kind of like inspiration and give people hope. Instead, the Shelton retailer owns the disorder. She wants to show others how they too can do that. Google Epilepsy Foundation Northwest. That's all you have to put in because there's ones all over the world, but it's the one here. And there's links, website, I mean, all kinds of stuff you can find out. Kara, who grew up in Shelton, raises money to fight epilepsy through her business, the Kendall Collection, on Railroad Avenue. That's her primary goal. She gives 10% of her profits to the Epilepsy Foundation of the Northwest, where she intends to become a corporate sponsor for the nonprofit organization. Besides running her shop where she sells her own line of inspirational clothing, Kara works on a speaker circuit for a number of groups and organizations to help others with epilepsy. Special needs galas, um, epilepsy galas, dinners, events. I've spoke at schools. I've spoke at a lot of support groups for kids. I'm speaking in Denver coming up and Disneyland. She talked about what it's like to have epilepsy. Everybody's different. For me, I had... Um, very bad case, so I had seizures multiple times a week. Spent a lot of time in the hospital. The medications kind of make you feel like you're on um, chemotherapy. So you get really sick, and um, school is hard because they slow your brain down, because that's the whole point. Slow the brain waves down, then you have seizures. So learning and memorizing and things like that are, are very difficult. Her condition created problems she overcame. I was having a lot of failures. I was having failed relationships. I couldn't keep a job. Nothing was going right. And sooner or later, you have to look around and be like, okay, what's the root problem? <laughs> I am. And so I think I was just trying to be someone that I wasn't. I didn't want people to know I had epilepsy. I didn't want people to think of me different. But finally, as soon as I just accepted it and just kind of ran with it and was confident about it, everything changed. And then I see other kids going through the same thing, and I just feel like I can really help them. She urges young people with epilepsy to be true to themselves and not hide their condition. See Kara's website at shopkendallcollection.com or call her at 360-556-9237. I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News.